um, in this video reference DVD I would like to uh, briefly talk about what uh, visual processing in real time is like so because it could be a, a difficult concept in in film which doesn't really happen we usually what we involve is uh, post special effects but you can think of this as special effects in real time without rendering uh, <clears throat> like what is great about it is that things are happening in real time and um, it gives a sense of immediacy and performativity and, and this immediacy and performativity is quite a crucial part of this project so I would like to do a quick demo um, so we can have a better understanding what the project uh, images and visual in relation to uh, to the performer and, and what it's like and in life and so to give a better sense of what could be done um, so if you imagine uh, this screen here that you're seeing me right now um, is in front of your own eyes so you are uh, watching me talking here and uh, this screen here is what you're seeing in the projection what you're seeing on screen um, so right now you're seeing two person right now uh, one is uh, in real life and one is on screen so if you can imagine that right now and uh, then we can start processing what's been on screen Right now it's all unprocessed. Then if we put a effect on it, so right now it's taking, it's becoming black and white, and you, as you can see, it's all in real time and it's they look identical. You can see it's still me waving here. <coughs> then if I. So basically, th this is actually taking a uh, difference between frames. So the faster I move, the brighter image is going to get. Uh, so the process is already start happening. It's already sort of interesting. You can see all this black and white sort of effect on, on my movement right now. And then if I add in uh, another um, function here, maybe a filter called motion blur. that my movement is going to blur and make interesting child. I mean this is seen in a lot of uh, experimental films or video special effects but this is happening in real time you can see me creating this special effect um, in live situation now I'm adding in even more motion blur so that the amount of trail is uh, there's more amount and now I can even sort of paint with my fingers just my moving you see the, the relationship it's uh, very clear the, just by moving the hand already sort of painting like so this is one uh, very quick um, quick concept so we can see how the relationship between the life which is here on the left side left screen and then the processed on the right screen so now uh, I'm gonna go towards the next step uh, as we can see already the relationship it's, it's very clear um, and what can we take further to this um, this visual process in here? What I like about it is like you can um, in sort of real time programming environment you can have the this process as a path. So we are sort of a conductor. We can conduct uh, how this visual how the images are going to look at in real time by building the path. Uh, have rules and 
algorithm for it to uh, go to what your result uh, direction is. So let's uh, go take these images and further to the next step where we uh, are breaking up time. And you can see that that is still me. Uh, I'm still generating this image here by moving my hand and, and you know my face here, my head. At the same time, it does not correspond um, directly to my movement anymore. It's sort of jittering right now. Uh, it's actually breaking up uh, the time uh, and it's tracking the sound. So I'm 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 conducting and, and telling uh, the visual saying, um, listen to the sound that's coming to the, the microphone and 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 uh, change the frames based on the volume of the sound right now. So then I don't have to once this this path is clear it's going to just autom automatically start generating uh, this um, motion picture just by my movement and the sound of it. So the processing is, is based on sound right now. Uh, whenever I talk, it moves. Um, and if I put in uh, music, and it's going to... So Correspond to the the beat of music. So you can get some interesting compositions and and you know, visual movement and shapes just by I, uh, the the movement source is coming to the camera and the sound is going to the microphone. And then we can also add in, uh, now I'm going to make it red, so we can change color. And then add in an, another layer. Now you get sort of more interesting result happening and, and sort of a by chance improvised sort of a, a, a result here. Things are sort of unpredictable just by sound and, and movement.